Ah, oh, Soka's such a cutie. Oh, you love him young and ripe. And delicious. And orange. It's a shame that her creator's a hack. Yeah, we're talking to you, felony stands who are coming after me hard in the paint. We're going we're gonna to just briefly show you. We have visual and audio proof as to why Dave Filoni's a hack. Yes, whoever that man is. The, the, the man who's responsible for Ahsoka, Tano, the show. He birthed her. I've heard, I mean, I've heard the animated stuff is good. I never watched it because I don't watch children's shows. Yes, because you're a hack. And if you want to watch a video where everyone destroys your moral compass right up here right above right above right, right here right above yeah if you want to see z get destroyed emotionally where he's crying every day about how much people hate him and whales this is the video and space whales yeah we gotta like both of those things i love apparently. space whales and Who? whale sperm well let's t let's take a look at this this is the evidence that uh, we all needed because basically the ahsoka show doesn't make a ton of sense there's not a lot of good dialogue in it and uh, people die. The people get stabbed with lightsabers, but don't die. Even though they do die in other scenes, but then other people don't die. It's just not very good. <laughs> Did I tell you who okay. Sabine? Do you know who Sabine Wren is? Uh oh, that's the hot Asian girl. You at least know who Ahsoka is, right? The orange one. <laughs> and <w> orange <laughs> chick rad. Rosario Blackson. Yes. And then what about uh, who's the other girl? R2D2. Hera something or other. Hella? No, Hera with the two Thor. diggly wigglies on her oh, head. Oh, the green one. Mary Elizabeth Winstead. The green one where um, Ewan McGregor butt shots. put it into her. Yeah, now all she does is butt shots on his show. Oh, really? Yes, it's all butt shots. Anyway, well, let's get some sage advice from a wiser man than either of us. Ewan let's McGregor. hear it directly. <laughs> yes, this is Ewan McGregor. Older Ewan McGregor. An, an older Ewan McGregor. Very good aging makeup. The, yes, this is a de-aging, folks. This yeah. is aging. So be, you may not know who Obi-Wan and Luke Skywalker are, but here, they'll talk about it. Luke, did I ever tell you about Ahsoka Tano? <laughs> she was your father's exotic teenage <laughs> alien apprentice. <laughs> She was your father's exotic teenage <laughs> alien apprentice. See, she was t teenage. She was young. She was young. And ripe. And ripe. And orange. And apprentilicious. Uh-huh. A fine piece of jailbait. <laughs> oh, wait, age. no. You, you were saying she, she wasn't that young. Jailbait. So she's under 18. Oh, definitely. In in the Clone Wars, she's under... Now she's old Rosario Dawson. Oh, it's not the same time frame? It's no, this is after Return of the Jedi. Uh, it's, no, Rosario Darson's like she's like forty five. Yeah, but when when is the animated <clears throat> one time frame? I I don't know. Clone Wars. Yeah, uh, during the Clone Wars. That makes a lot of 20 sense. Twenty years ago. That makes a lot of sense. See, that does it. Well, whatever. Let's just say that she's young and ripe. And she's not Teenage young anymore. Show. No. Oh. In fact, Anakin says you're old. Oh, does she really? Yeah, he's oh, straight up he like really? you're old. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's brutal. She's yeah, older than Anakin. <laughs> Anakin's dead at this point, by the way. Oh. This is after Return of the Jedi. Spoiler alert. Oh, shit. Yeah. Ready? Apprentice, a fine piece of jailbait from a more civilized age. <laughs> more civilized age. She had the tightest body and the perkiest <laughs> little breasts in the galaxy. Barely legal in most systems. <laughs> Anakin and I used to double team her at the end of every success. <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on. We got to keep pausing it because we can't make it through this. <laughs> oh, I didn't get to that part. That's great. <laughs> Anakin and I used to double team her. All right. Ready? <laughs> the end of every successful campaign during the Clone Wars. And once in a while, we'd even have the entire 500 first run a train over her. <laughs> oh, part of what? official Jedi training, of course. Oh, in time, that? she learned how to handle a meat saber better than anyone in the Jedi Temple. <laughs> she wore a mini skirt every day, so we told her there were no panties in space. <laughs> what? And since she was constantly doing acrobatics, you'd get a glimpse of her orange pussy mid <laughs> oh, What? 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 <laughs> Hold on, we can stop oh, laughing. Orange pussy? Oh my <laughs> this goodness. This is way dirtier than you thought it was. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay. I would watch this. It'd fight as she'd do a flip while slicing a B2 super battle droid in half. <laughs> It was surreal. We taught her to grip her weapon backwards like a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, Jesus All Christ. Right. This is gold. 
and she constantly got captured by pirates and slavers almost every other day. <laughs> it was ridiculous, like a constant porno look. You have no idea. And she was a good friend. <laughs> and she was a good friend? That's how it ends? And she was a good friend. That's it? <laughs> so... So much like your father. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh my god that is great so the, zoom like in, father. the stare did i ever tell you about ahsoka tano did i ever tell you she was your father's exotic teenage alien apprentice <laughs> a fine piece of jailbait from a more Wait, civilized age. no i just repeated i uh, had to hear that first part again no it got so much better at the end oh my gosh so <laughs> Yeah, that's what Dave Filoni wrote into uh, wrote into canon. Why would he? We would double team her. Why would he bring this character? Mission. This doesn't seem like Star Wars to me. <laughs> Does it? I don't, Why would he bring this character this back Star into Star Wars. Wars? Star Wars. Yeah, I would. I would watch this show hundred percent. Anakin and Obi just double teaming her. We used to double team her, <laughs> and every once in a while, the five hundred and first would run a train on her. <laughs> <laughs> she learned her meat saber better than her lightsaber. Yes. That, I, I mean, it's very strange that Dave Filoni would, would build an entire franchise around a character creepy like prick. this, right? Yeah. Isn't that kind of creepy? It's weird. Yeah. We should fire him. He needs to be me too He does need to be me too No, Apparently, nobody dug far enough into his past or watched the first movie to hear him talk this about this. This is worse than James Gunn won the Diddle Bieber. Yeah. So there, there you have it, folks. I think we have pretty definitive proof that... Dave Filoni never should have made an Ahsoka series. Absolutely not. I didn't even think it was that bad. I actually, it's 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 not like it's not as bad as uh, Mando season three. It's not as bad as Obi Wan. But because the Dave Filoni stands out there are deciding to personally attack my vision of not uh, knowing anything about the previous shows. Yeah. Well, do you want to do homework to watch a show? But no, but you're reviewing it, so you should do your homework. I'm not watching 30 seasons of Why not? We cartoons. can review each episode. No. 10 second shorts. No one cares. One hour that. breakdown no. each. So what? We could get, yeah, one hour breakdown we can of be each the star. We can be the Ahsoka Tana show. Yeah, we'll be the new Ahsoka. Ahsoka Tano? Ahsoka. Ahsoka. Our Ahsoka Tanas will kill you. Yes. New channel. New channel. So I think we've discovered it. We've uncovered it. As usual, our reviews will kill you. And her juicy orange pussy. <laughs> oh, juicy. My pussy. Oh, God. Squeeze that orange juice from me, Daddy Anakin. In the meantime, be sure to check out our podcast. It is oh, our so reviews good. will kill you on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those places and more. We, we do subs. live stream it here on YouTube. Sub our to home. us. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have constipation. Friday nights. Please. Check it out. But we are on. We love you. To the next one. Eventually.